every flaw, difference, condition make us human. Different is the new normal. This was, this was me as a baby, just when I was cute. My birthmark was very, very, very dark. It was just dark purple when I was born. Throughout time, it got a little bit lighter. So I was born with a Port Weinstein birthmark, which is pretty much half of my face. It goes into my neck and my ear and pretty much half of my head. A Port Weinstein is a mutation that causes enlarged blood vessels, essentially. The color kind of looks like someone just threw wine on you. School was tough. There was definitely a lot of bullying. Elementary school predominantly was a big challenge. It was definitely a roller coaster. It was really difficult for me to just have somebody just to see me and just not my birthmark and you know not the the freak in the class. It was a lot of staring, a lot of questions, which I still get today from mainly adults. You know, if I got burned, if I was in a fight, if I didn't have to be basically forced to acknowledge my birthmark, that I wouldn't have openly accepted it like I do now. Photo for the for the gram today. I started my Instagram, I think, about three years ago. So I started taking photos of my birthmark, highlighting them in different ways, outlining it, filling it with glitter. I wanted to create a platform. Anyone who just felt just so imperfect and flawed, they can come to an Instagram page like mine, hopefully, and just feel really proud to be different comments that I get in some of the photos that I post, it's, it's very, very, very empowering and inspiring. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Okay, so we've got, so we've got four models total. Okay. So this is all lingerie from Curvy Kate that's sponsoring. Okay. Which is going to be a... It's gonna be fun. So who's gonna be in that outfit? That potentially will be April, who is highlighting Vitiligo. Oh. And then we've got Keely, who is highlighting Elostomy. Okay. And it's with the, the stoma back. Okay. No, I'm, um, I am very excited. My, my uh, 10 year old self would be cringing, probably throwing up right now. Today I'm especially excited because of the additional wonderful women that we have on this one. I think it's going to turn out beautiful, so I'm very excited. It's going to be a really beautiful, bold, real shoot. Vitiligo and vitiligo causes loss of melanin in my skin in patches. The photo shoot went well. It was pretty interesting to be shooting in a church. I've never done that before. I was a little nervous and just not sure how everything was going to play. Oh yeah, the glitter is showing up really well. The photos turned out really, really great. Everyone did amazing. I really hope that photos like this can become the, the new normal. I have a lot in mind that I want to do with this campaign. I want this conversation to be had everywhere. I want to see that on billboards. I want to see that in film. I want to see that in our fashion shows. I mean, I want it just to completely take over the beauty industry.